<laughs> you good? You ready? Yep. All right. So we started off with Fertibella, right? Yep. They get married. They unite the kingdoms of Castile and Aragon. And so for the first time, we have a united Spain, right? United under what? Christianity. What Christianity? Catholicism. Catholicism, right? Catholicism. And so because of that, everything they do is meant to unify. So whether it's the expulsion of the Jews, the defeat of the Ottoman Turks in the Mediterranean, everything centers around that, right? So they have some children, and those children have children, okay? Um, the, this is Joan is one of them. And then we have Philip I, also known as Philip the Handsome, underneath over here. So they're siblings. Philip I has a child. His name is Charles V, Chucky V. Who is this dude? Emperor of, the Holy Roman Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire, specifically the Spanish part, because there are two pieces as a result of him dividing the empire in two. Okay, It's too difficult to deal with two separate pieces of an empire with France in between. So instead, he's going to divide it up, and the Spanish part will eventually be ruled by his son, Philip II. I think this one has two L's. And Philip II, what's the two-word phrase we use for him? Militant Catholicism or militant Catholic. Good. Okay, so we're going to pause here. Again, we got HR. Cool. All right. Um, another child, a child of Jones, is a, a young woman by the name of Catherine. And where's Catherine from? Aragon. Aragon. Catherine of Aragon. Okay. And we're going to come back to her in just a minute because she is betrothed to the prince of england at the time his uh anyone know his name John. arthur okay arthur prince of england what happens to poor arthur super dead okay arthur dead and so we have to adjust right the whole reason that this marriage is taking place is an attempt to create an alliance between England and Spain. So if this alliance is no longer here, that can create some issues. So instead, we're going to take a left-hand turn, and she is going to marry Henry VIII. And once again, that Henry VIII... Oh, I should use that on me. Henry VIII... And again, these guys are brothers, okay? So Henry VIII efforts the Pope and says, yo, we need to keep this alliance intact, okay? So I have good news, Pope. Uh, Catherine and Arthur never consummated the marriage. Who knows? But he says, that's why it's okay for me to marry my brother's widow. Sure. Um, somebody in a class yesterday said, wait, so does that mean everybody is related? Yes. Yes, indeed. It does mean everybody is related. Okay. So we have this marriage, and this marriage is going to produce a couple, uh, well, really one daughter of note here. Who are we talking about? Mary Tudor. Mary Tudor. And this Mary is going to be known by a nickname. Okay, good so far? Is she a male heir? No. And that's what Henry really wants. And so Henry is going to marry somebody else. Who is this? Anne Boleyn. Boleyn, oh, spelled a little funky. Okay, and Henry and Anne Boleyn have a daughter as well, no son. And so who is this? Elizabeth, Elizabeth what? First. Lizzie one. Okay. And so that makes these two ladies half-sisters. The problem is, Mary Tudor is what religion? Catholic. Catholic. But in order for Henry to divorce slash annul the marriage between him and Catherine of Aragon and Mary Anne Boleyn, he has to start his own religion. What is that religion called? Anglicanism, the Church of England. Okay. So, and again, it's like diet Catholicism is how I kind of describe the way that he views religion, okay? Um, in order to do that, there's actually some fun context that goes into this. He tries to get the new pope to annul this marriage. The new pope says no. 
in part because he doesn't want to anger Charles V since Catherine and Charles are cousins, okay? And uh, also Charles has Holy Roman Emperor Empire troops in Rome at the time at a conference. And so the Pope is literally worried for his safety if he were to annul the marriage and anger Charles V. Is, it, is this after or before the sacking of Rome? I don't know, okay. I honestly don't know, okay? So it's like 15, this is post Martin Luther. So 1520s, I'm gonna say, All right. would be my guess. Um, so because of that, that's going to anger Charles V. Cool. Um, so he can't do that, and so the Pope says no, and so Henry VIII says, fine, I'll start my own religion, right? When you're a little kid and you're playing at recess and the kids aren't playing the right way, and so you start your own game, that's it. Um, eventually, Elizabeth I will come to the throne. She is Protestant, okay? Or at least tolerant, okay? Some level of religious toleration, okay? And she is what's known as a person who puts her own religion aside for the betterment of everybody else. What do we call that? Secular. Politique. 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 Just like Henry IV, okay? She's a politique, okay? And um, at this point, Mary Tudor, is, who is Catholic, will be looking for someone to marry to increase her standing, right? So who does she marry? Philip II. Philip II, so they get married, okay? And so now they're trying to reclaim England for the Catholics, and so Philip II sends the Armada. Spanish Armada over to Elizabeth in 1588. It does get dunked on by both the Navy and the, the storms, okay, the wind. And so as a result, uh, Elizabeth I solidifies England as a Protestant outcome, yes. Kind of miscellaneous news, but did you hear about how Russia was negotiating with the Houthis to sell uh, hypersonic? No, I did not hear that. Vessels. No. Um, so Arthur and Henry are brothers, but they're not the only siblings to come out of this marriage. A uh, militant Catholic, right? Re-Catholicize England along with Mary Tudor. That's the goal. Uh, okay. okay. Um, that's not the only sibling. Probably should have made this a dollar one. It's gonna bother me. There's another sibling, a part of this crew. A sister. A sister by the name of Margaret. Okay. And Margaret will have a child named Mary. This is a different Mary. This Mary is the Queen of Scots. Why do you think she's called the Queen of Scots? She marries a, the Scottish king who produces Mary Queen of Scots, which is an attempt to, again, consolidate power within the royal family. Okay. Um, Mary Queen of Scots is married to James V. Again, this is probably jumping ahead a little bit, and they will have a son. What do you think that son's name is? James the Sixth. Sixth. You kids, you're so smart. James the Sixth. James the Sixth is James the Sixth of Scotland. This becomes important in a minute because. Uh, what is the name of Elizabeth's child? No children. No children. Why? Married. She's married to England. Okay. I don't need a man. Married to England. She rules for a long period of time. Okay. And it's a prosperous time period, one in which she actually doesn't raise taxes, which is going to become problematic in like three chapters. Okay. James the Sixth of Scotland. Because there's no child here, the most legitimate claim to the throne is going to be his, and so he will become James the First of England and Scotland. Good there? So wait, that's his son. Wait, so <laughs> yes. who is so James the Second becomes James the First? Correct. It's the same dude. Oh, okay. But he has a new title now because there's no child here. Same dude. Okay. No James the first is going to have a child. Charles the first of England and Scotland. 
and Charles I of England and Scotland is going to be the dude in charge during the English Civil War. This is cool. Do you have to memorize this? No. I do not think so. Who's what? Who's Charles? James the first son. James the first son. Who does James the first marry? Doesn't matter. For our purposes, I don't care. The English Civil War drip does go hard, though. It's, a, it's Again, we're four chapters, three chapters away, something like that. Okay, so this is what we're looking at. Think Protestant Reformation and its connection to politics when you're thinking about this, okay? You got your phone on you? No. Anyone have their phone on them right now? Can you please take it out and take a picture of this and post it to Google Classroom for me? You can stop filming. Thank you so much.